Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back for another video. In today's video, I've started army building the new artillery stormtrooper. Let's open one of these things up, check it out. That's right. I've got some uh, troopers here. This is the new artillery stormtrooper. Uh, I actually pre-ordered these from Amazon and they finally showed up. And when I first saw this one, I was immediately like, yes, I got to get a few of them. And this is a very unique uh, stormtrooper and I just dig it because he's he's got a mortar. I mean, come on. Um, one of the most interesting things about this, when I got this from Amazon, each one of these were in one of these boxes. And I thought that was actually pretty neat. I've never seen uh, these Hasbro boxes before, uh, but yeah, I thought that was cool. They were each one individually wrapped in, in its own separate box. So uh, yeah, I dig it, but we're gonna, we're gonna take a closer look, I promise. Like right there, check this thing out in the box. I mean, this thing is awesome. I mean, come on. I love everything about this. Like I said, artillery, stormtrooper. I don't necessarily know if I'd go with artillery, but it's definitely mortar uh, because that's what this is. But uh, yeah, these were uh, on the back, specialized soldiers in the Imperial Forces. Artillery stormtroopers carry specialized indirect fire weapons like mortars onto the battlefield see artillery is big guns that's a mortar so technically mortar stormtrooper but it doesn't sound as good as artillery stormtrooper so anyway tell you what let's uh let's get let's get this thing opened up and take a closer look at it all right so we got the artillery stormtrooper out of the packaging and this thing is even cooler out of the box um First and foremost, comes with the uh, the old blaster right there. This is the one we're all used to seeing. Uh, looks really cool. I mean, it's to me that this clip actually seems like it's a little longer than normal, but overall, very well done. Detail looks great. Um, it's you know we're used to seeing it. But there it is. Uh, secondly. Uh, weapon is the actual mortar itself. Uh, this thing is really cool looking. Uh, it does pivot on the base, which is cool. But look at this thing. Now, I'm curious. Um, mine looks like it's got a little bit of a bow in it. I don't know if that's the way it's supposed to be, but it looks a little crooked. But... That's easy to fix, but look at this thing. I mean, that is impressive. What a cool, what a cool accessory to actually have uh, for a stormtrooper. Now, I will say this: the process of carrying one of these. I mean, typically in a mortar crew, you've got a person that carries the base plate, the tube, which is what this is called. Uh, and then ammo. So this one would be a little would be a little interesting to try to figure out how to get the trooper to carry it. But again, look at this. That is so wickedly cool. Um, also, uh, it comes with the actual backpack with the rounds right there, and lots of good detail here as well. I uh, like this yellow right here to match. We've got some good detail on the backpack. Um, it actually comes with one round loose, and it has lots of detail. It actually pops right in. At first, I thought these were all like uh, made into the pack, but actually they come out as well. So that's a very cool uh, little feature is that you can actually take all of the rounds out of the actual backpack. So that is a cool touch because honestly, I would have assumed that these would have been uh, fixed. 
and non-removable. So having four of them that you can take out, I think is a, a nice touch. So yeah, got the backpack. Oh, the figure itself. Oh, uh, right off the bat, I want to talk about the pauldron. Uh, this is actually really, really nice. I mean, you can actually see uh, the wrinkling right there. Just, just excellently done. The figure itself, I mean, it's a stormtrooper, but look at the color. I'm digging this yellow. I don't expect a tremendous amount of uh, range of motion because, again, it is a trooper, but the head, pretty much normal. Oh, wow. That's actually pretty good. Yeah, that's not bad. Do have side-to-side -side articulation front and back at the waist. Not terrible. Has a little bit of a waist pivot. Elbows. All right, there. The, what we're used to seeing does have a shoulder pivot. So, yeah, this is actually uh, really nice. Not bad. It's got good articulation. Uh, hips, about normal. And we should have a decent past 90 on the articulation on the old knees. Um, ankles, pretty much standard. Nothing, uh, nothing crazy there. But, again... The articulation, I wasn't expecting a tremendous amount uh, compared to a normal trooper, but the paint. This yellow, I am digging this yellow a lot. I mean, it just looks really, really good. I mean, that's, that's spot on. That's money right there. As far as his backpack goes, we have a peg hole which I'm curious, this one doesn't look like it's very round. Almost looks like a D, and we got a slot. So I don't know how well this will actually peg in. But, uh, yeah, that pegs in fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Actually looks good on there. I don't know if I would ever use it without it, but I can understand not having it on there because you got it down on the ground, pulling rounds out for the tube. But, uh, yeah, that is cool right there. Very nice. So there it is, the Artillery Stormtrooper. I tell you what, let me uh, get this thing posed up and I'll give you my final thoughts on it. All right, everybody. So here's what I came up with, just a quick little pose uh, showing these Artillery uh, Stormtroopers off. And I'm telling you right now, these are so cool. Um, as far as an army build goes, um, I think four is probably going to be where I stand at these. Um, cause I think it'd be cool to match up an art maybe an artillery, uh, stormtrooper with some normal stormtroopers. Um, uh, just, just as a, you know, or a pair. Um, I don't know. We'll see. These are cool though. I'm digging these things. I love the different colors. With the yellow, I love how the how the mortar works. Uh, just the overall look of it is great. Uh, like I said, you could create a really cool little scene right here. We've got the one trooper, you know, he's getting ready to drop him down the tube. We got the other trooper, you know, standing watch, providing some cover. But uh, yeah, wicked cool. So glad I was able to pick these up. And like you guys know me, I love my troopers. Uh, yeah, but every time I see things like this, it just makes me want vehicles to go with them. Just say it. Uh, but that's going to be it for this unboxing review. Definitely let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, let me know if you picked these up or not. And if you did, how many are you getting? Um, like I said, I, I grabbed four right off the bat and yeah, I'm digging it. I'm digging these left and right these this is becoming one of my favorite stormtroopers just because of the mortar the mortar is such a neat accessory it's an accessory that we've not seen and i personally wish we had more uh heavy weaponry 
uh, with some of these uh, troopers just to give it some diff you know differences and stuff. Uh, how cool would it be to have sniper troopers and heavy weapons uh, platoon, which is what a mortar crew would actually be part of, which would mean you'd have mortars, you'd have heavy uh, machine guns, and so on. So things like the M60, the saw, uh, these are things that make up a heavy weapons platoon, and then you basically just put them out with the, the rest of the, uh, the unit. But I love the fact that the backpack, the mortars, all four come out. I think that's really cool. Um, I really, I can't find a whole lot about this thing that I don't like. As you can see, you can pose them up really good. Um, short of weathering, that would be it. Um, yeah, I dig it. I, I really don't have a lot of negative thoughts on it. Like I said, other than maybe weathering, that would be it. But uh, let me know what you think. I want to know. I want to know what you think about the artillery stormtrooper. Also, if this is your first time on my channel, if you enjoy this kind of content, do me a favor and consider hitting that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, make sure and turn notifications on. That way you'll know when I drop videos. And you'll be part of the movement, 21K in 2021. And one last thing, always remember, toys refreshes your soul. And I'll see you next time.